Hi, hi, YouTube. Welcome in. This is our first ever playthrough of Detroit Become Human and uh, part one. So we're just starting out here. This is part of the new schedule today is Tense Tuesdays. We're going to be playing like horror or thriller games uh, or I don't know, stressful games, which I guess is what this is. I've never played a game like this before. I don't know what to expect, but it looks fun. Uh, I know it's like a choice game, which I think are like more interesting to watch sometimes. And my um, decision-making skills are very bad. So it might be entertaining. We'll see how it goes. Um, again, like usual, we will be doing a full playthrough. But on the new schedule, we'll only be playing this game on Tuesdays. And for you YouTubers, it'll be Wednesdays that you see this when they get uploaded. So it'll always be the day after. I'll make sure to take care of you guys. So without further ado, let's get into the game. All right. All right, chat. Do I try to get my controller working or not? I always say I'm going to get my controller working for these things. It's probably more fun to play on keyboard, right? Let's just play on keyboard because my controller is already being stupid. Okay, new story. Let's go. Um, Your previous checkpoints will be replaced. We don't, I don't know why it's, I had to start it up to like set the colors and the options. But I haven't actually done anything, so. I don't think we're losing anything by hitting new story. All right, let's get into this. I don't know anything about this, by the way, chat. We'll see. We'll see. Let me know if it's too quiet. All right, we got a dude with a coin. It's pretty badass with a coin, actually. Yo, that's pretty sick. So is this dude like James Bond? Move with the waskies. Uh, I don't like that. We gotta fix that. My mouse is like... Don't think you actually want it inverted for that. That feels real weird. Okay, that feels better. Yeah, this is right. Oh no. Please, please, you gotta save my little girl. Wait. You're standing at Anne's right? All right, ma'am. You, you need to go. You can't do that. You. Why aren't you sending a real person? Okay, so I'm an android? Man, that's fucked up. Oh, it does say Android on the back of my shirt. I don't know how I missed that. I thought it was just like a logo. A piece of crap could jump from the roof at any second. Hold right click to consult your objectives. Find Captain Allen. Talk to Captain Allen first. All right. Oh, well, he blocks me off if I don't do the thing I'm supposed to do. Okay, so I'm an android, and apparently I'm also a hostage negotiator. And apparently that lady in the hallway does not like androids very much. What up? Captain Allen, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. It's firing at everything that moves. It already shot down two of my men. We could easily get it, but they're on the edge of the balcony. If it falls, she falls. Um, by the way they're saying it, is it also an android that has the hostage? Uh, what's one? Deviant's name. Its name. I haven't got a clue. Does it matter? I need information to determine the best approach. So they're like sending in an android to deal with an android, it sounds you like. Know if it's been behaving strangely before this. Saving that kid is all that matters. So either you deal with this fucking android now, or I'll take care of it. Damn, okay, dude. Yeah, 48 chance of success now. That's not good. Understand what happens. Save hostage at all costs. I need to know what happens, right? Because that's how we're going to save it. With more information, I think. 
Interact using the mouse. How do I interact? Analyze, dude. What are we doing? I don't understand what I'm doing wrong here. Let me analyze! <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, hold and press down? Oh, I'm so stupid. Okay. Um, two clues to analyze. So I have to click and hold? Okay. Uh, they got a black hawk. That's good information. That'll be useful. What else do I have to analyze here? Oh, yeah, dude. Our brain cells are on all cylinders. Where's the other clue? Oh, here we go. Thinking done. Ammunition. Alright, after reconstruct. Oh! Let's see. Use the following keys to review the reconstruction. So he's like gonna use his android superpowers to figure out what happened. Ooh, here's the important part apparently. Deviant took the father's gun. So the android came in here. He grabs the gun. Okay. So they call rogue androids deviants. Is that why they keep referring to it as a deviants? My probability of set success is now 50%. Hey, can you tell me something the captain couldn't? I already forgot what button it was to tell where I go next. Is that shift? Oh, it was right click. Uh, understand what happened, save hostage at all costs. Every second counts. I don't think he's gonna jump, I'm calling his bluff. We need to figure out more shit. What's going on in the bedroom? <laughs> you have to like mimic that, like, that's like a puzzle. It's so weird. Alright, hold and right click. Or right and swipe. Alright, we learned his name. So the android and the kid were friends. So why did it snap? Was she being like a typical T and told him, I hate you, Daniel, and then he fucking lost his mind. Down and around. Child didn't hear the gunshots. My favorite song? I don't know if I have like a favorite song. What was that? Stop shooting shit, you idiots! My favorite band is um, a band called Dance Gavin Dance. So like any of their songs are really good. I like like rock music, post hardcore music, that kind of stuff. Uh, we need more information, chat. Where do I go next? Ooh, there's something in here. Look at. Whatever was playing on the headphones there was not something I'd be interested in. <laughs> Put that way. <laughs> Understand what happens. Hostage room searched. Oh, where do we go next? I guess over here. Oh, there's so much going on in here. Holy shit. Right now our chance is only 55%, so that's not great. What happened here? Oh, this was the, the dad, I guess? God, they lit him up. Okay, what we got here? Bullet wound, lower lung hemorrhage, internal bleeding. Okay. Uh, a bullet wound, upper lung hemorrhage. Ah, uh, can't we just give him mouth to mouth? He should be fine. Okay, maybe not this one. Deceased. Six foot, 187 pounds, estimated time of death, 730. There's one more clue somewhere. Where am I missing it? Where's the other clue? Oh, there it is. Another bullet hole. 
damn, he got fucking three shots in this dude. Left kidney. Fatal abdominal trauma. Trauma. Of course I want to give him mouth to mouth. Okay, chat. It works most of the time. You gotta try it. Alright, let's reconstruct. Let's reconstruct. Oh, we can move the camera during the reconstruction. So he was just chilling here. Looks like he's got maybe a beer in his hand. Android comes up behind him. Uh, bat, 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 bat. He didn't, like, really even give him time, dude. The android just fucking... Hold up, though. The android must have given him some warning. See, so he doesn't shoot until after he looked at him. So maybe, maybe this guy was like, Fuck you! And then he's like, what? Bop, 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 bop. You know, we don't know. Maybe he was just asking where the tuna was. Father was holding something. Rewind to search for no new clue. Okay. What was he holding? How do I search for this clue? Oh, reconstruction's incomplete. I have to go all the way back. Father was holding something. Do I have to exit out to reconstruct more of this? What's this? Okay. So what I'm reconstructing is that the tablet fell over there. So now I need to go see what was on that tablet, obviously. He was probably watching cartoons, you know? He was probably watching twitch.tv slash pomletvt. Oh! They bought a new android. They're gonna decommission him. Yo, that's fucked up. Chat, it's like you don't get... Can we stop? I need time. Chill out. Q. What am I looking for here? I don't really understand that one. Is it just trying to say he was like Buddhist or something? He's got a nice ass fucking piano. I guess you have to probably be rich to own androids, huh? You need me to want me to hydrate right now? You see what's going on here, Arca? Alright, I got you. Excuse me, active shooter. I need to take a drink for Haruka. Oh, what's up with this dude? Uh, officer was a first responder. Oh, they killed a... Oh, that's right. He did say he killed a few of his men. Gunshot residue. So wait, did he shoot first? Deceased. Old Antony. Uh, bullet wound. I guess technically it makes sense for the officers to shoot first. The, the android was, did kill a man. So, I mean, you can't really fault the officer that much, I guess. Um, hotness, or hostage witness the shooting. Yo, HD! HD, thank you for the raid. How was your, how was your stream? I hope you're doing well. Thank you for the punch. We just started Detroit Become Human. It's already starting out wild. I've never played a game like this. Oh, the cop got a shot off on him. Oh, and then he took him out. Holy shit. Um, and then that's where the gun went. Weapon located. Okay. Okay, I'm starting to understand how this all works. Hi, Jay Dizzle. How are you doing? Welcome in. All right, let's get the officer's firearm. Check it out. Um, do we take it? Androids act. Androids are strictly forbidden to carry a weapon. No, we're a good android, chat. We put this back. We don't want to freak him out either. Do a very specific song that I like. It's important. Okay. Um. Look up. Uh. What's what's a good song? 
You can do We Own the Night by Dance Game Dance. That's like one of my all time favorite songs. Oh no. I need to hurry the fuck up. I think I'm out of time. I'm out of time. So I guess what I look at is important during these sequences. I don't have enough time to look at everything. Ow! Stay back! Don't come any closer or I'll jump! Okay, so the important thing here is he loves the little girl, right? And that's probably why he didn't want to be replaced. Hi, Daniel. Uh, my name is Connor. How do you know my name? I know a lot of things about you. Okay, we got this. Get you out of this. We're saving her. Oh no, we got only 50%. He's, he's destabilizing. Uh, gain trust, approach slowly. Uh, one, empathize, reassure. Oh, why did it pause? Oh, we want to empathize. Just like you. I know how you're feeling. What difference does it make if you're an android? Oh, I didn't like you're that on one. I can't understand how I'm feeling. I understand, dude. Let's move, uh, Emma and you. Let's do this one. I know you and Emma were very close. You what a blueberry. She betrayed you, but she's done nothing wrong. She did not lie to you. She's a good girl. No, 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 no. Um. They were going to replace you, and you became upset. That's what happened, right? I thought I was part of the family. Oh, poor guy. I thought I mattered. You do. But I was just their toy. No, no. Something to throw away when you're done with it. We're keeping closer. Um, sympathetic. Listen, I know it's not your fault. These emotions you're feeling are just errors in your software. No, it's not my fault. I never wanted this. Well, we got this. I love them. You know? I believe you. It's nothing to them. No, that's not true. That's not true. That's probably true, Jeb. Don't tell him. I can't stand that noise anymore. <laughs> tell that helicopter to get out of here. All right, helicopter, get the fuck out of here, dude. The situation is under control. There, I did what you wanted. Dude, we're good at this, chat. Uh, trust. You have to trust me, Daniel. Let the hostage go, and I promise you, everything will be fine. We got you, dude. We're fellow androids. All right, everyone, get out of here. And, and I want a car. Okay. When I'm outside the city, I'll let her go. No, no, no. You let her go now. You let her go now. That's impossible, Daniel. Let the girl go, and I promise you won't be hurt. There's no, there's no it's fucking done. let her out of the city. I don't want to die. We are reassured, dude. We're not going to die. We're just going to talk. Nothing will happen to you. You have my word. All right, come on, Daniel. Okay. They're going to fucking shoot him the second he sets her down, dude. Okay, he's back to being bl No, come on, dude. I do it. Oh no. Why do we have to kill him though? He was gonna come nicely. You lied to me, Connor. You lied to me. Oh, that's fucked up. I don't like that. Connor doesn't give a shit. <laughs> Mission successful. Fuck yeah, what a badass though. All right, so we're like a badass, heartless android negotiator. Uh, this is the scene's flowchart. Here you can review past you've taken and past yet to be explored and what possibilities you've unlocked. Each note earns you points that can sp 
spend in the extras. I don't know what that means. Due to the nature of the game, some nodes and endings will not be counted towards the completion of the flowchart. Okay. Alright, chat. Well, what an intro to this game. Blueberry, thank you again for the punch. Um, Yeah. So what's going on here? What did we fuck up? We missed this because we wasted too much time. And I think there was also some dialogue over here, and I didn't know what was going on at the beginning. Um, we had the choice to leave the gun, which we did. I feel like bringing the gun just would have been a terrible idea. We took the friendly approach and dismissed the helicopter. Then we lied to him to build trust, and then they shot the shit out of him. I wonder if there was a way to save him. Like, if we would have gotten close to him... Could we have, like, I don't know, kept them from shooting the hell out of them? Maybe. Let's continue. November 5th. I forgot what day it was last time, so who knows how much time has passed. Um, are we playing a different one? Model AX400? This is the top of the range house hold assistant. It cooks 10,000 different dishes. Come on, Zoe, let's go. 200 languages and dialects. Oh, they're at like an Android store. Elementary school prep. Good afternoon. Can I help you, please? Honey, it looks amazing. This is exactly what we need. How much did you say it cost? Yeah, what? At the moment, we're doing a special promotion on this entire range. At 7999 I mean, that's not crazy expensive. That's cheaper than a car. And it comes with a two-year warranty for parts and labor. And it does, like, everything in your house? <laughs> An excellent choice, sir. If you'll just follow me, we'll process the order. Dude, it's so weird how, like, they have some consciousness to them clearly, though, right? Am I just one on the floor model right now? Hi, you want to buy me? Oh no, this is what I'm getting sold to. This guy. It was really messed up. What you say happened to it again? A car hit it. Stupid accident. Does this guy beat the hell out of me? Anyway, it's as good as new now, except that we had to reset it, meaning we had to wipe its memory. I hope you don't mind. That'll be fine. Okay. Just give it a name. Hmm. My daughter did. AX400. Register your name. Kara. My name is Kara. Interesting. So that one, Kara, we were, was in there for repairs because we allegedly got hit by a car. Oh, we're driving back with this guy. Some tells me this is like an abusive husband situation, but with like an android robot. I wonder what year this... It said what year, right? Was it 2048, it said? I don't, I don't think this is plausible. Oh, that's... I've actually... I've been to Detroit for stuff. I've seen that fist before. It's totally... It's super hot. Such a kinky statue. I think that's probably what they were going for. You know how I know this isn't, like, a plausible future? Detroit looks too nice. I mean, Detroit's, like, one bar above Cleveland, really. <laughs> I lost my job because of androids. Okay. Okay, this looks more like Detroit. So is this all going to be about, like, android sentience? And, like, kind of how fucked up it is to use them as, like, pets? Oh, it's 2038. So this is, like, 14 years from now. Chat, I'll still be streaming. Are we a different android again? 
Yo, some pigeons. Who's this guy? You know, I think this is actually nice in the fact of like, okay, like building relationship and helping like elderly people and stuff is pretty cute. I don't know about the whole like making them mow your lawn shit. Uh, you can reread discovered articles in the extra section. Oh, that's so cool. That's how you turn a page. Uh, so this is talking about cyber life. This is like the place that makes them. You guys want me to read these? I wonder if they'll be actually interesting. I can read them. Why not? Secrets of Androids. How Cyberlife designs its androids to coexist with humans. The VR MMORPG reaches 1 billion users. Yo! Can we get into the VR MMORPG? Fuck this shit. Secrets of Androids. How Cyberlife designs its androids to coexist with humans. Designing androids that are easily accepted by humans was a huge challenge Cyberlife had to overcome. Jason Graff, director of the Humanization Department at Cyberlife, unveiled some of his design secrets in our recent interview. The first androids were perfect. They had perfect faces, perfect expressions, and we soon realized that there was something disturbing about them that made people feel uncomfortable. Cyberlife worked on ways to humanize its machines so that they could enter our homes and become new members of our family. And shoot the hell out of our, our friends. They created androids of both genders and all ethnicities. Analyzing thousands of voices to find the most pleasing tones. Realistic blinking was perfected. Though totally unnecessary. Along with breathing, facial hair, and many other humanizing traits. The, this perfect simulation of humanity. Down to the details that androids simply don't need. Is a secret of Cyberlife's design success. Uh, what's this? Green Earth. World temperatures increased by 3 degrees since the year 2000. Climate change of how environment is changing American society. Miami to heighten seawall by 10 meters. Get fucked, Florida. Uh, a recent U.S. census found that, as sea levels continue to rise and climate change leads to more and more extreme weather, America's once prosperous coastal cities are being deserted by the rich. Waterside real estate and once top attractions like Miami and Los Angeles are experiencing fright flight with wealthy residents opting for properties further inland or at higher altitudes. This is driving up prices in once rural areas and plummeting house values in previously desirable neighborhoods. Whilst this might sound like an opportunity for poorer Americans to enjoy new lifestyles, the reality is less attractive. Coastal properties are not just exposed to regular flooding, hurricanes, and other climate, climate, climatic, climatic weather. They're also suffering from urban flight, with all the services and amenities following richer customers into new areas. Urban development specialist Arnold Waters calls this donut effect, whereby the previous centers of coastal cities get hollowed out. This census is just the latest example of how climate change is affecting American societies in ways previously not imagined, altering not only the face of our environment, but even the social fabric of our nation. Okay, interesting. I really like how those books just like, I don't know, phase into existence. It's kind of cool. Alright, what are we doing here? Um, it told me for a second. Retrieve order 847 at Bellini Paints. Go to the paint shop. Alright. We're off to the old paint shop. Can't dawdle. Can't dawdle or we'll get yelled at. Because we're just an android. Alright, I got a drink. Harka androids don't need to hydrate. Okay. I hydrated. What's going here? Oh, I'm not allowed to go off my path. It's kind of fucked up. Oh, come on. I don't like how they're treating them badly. Chat, I have this theory. You know how, like... It's Dr. Pepper and Haruka, let's be honest. 
You know how, like, there's this thing where they're like... It, like, society doesn't accept certain groups. Like, right now, you know, LGBT is getting, like, not very accepted. But before that, it was more by, like, race. And before that, you know, all kinds of shit. I think the future is everyone's going to be accepted, but we're just going to be, like, shitty to robots. That's, like, the, the next progression. I don't know why the human race needs to be shitty to something. Like, that just seems to be its MO, but, you know, whatever. This seems very plausible to me. Ban androids. Androids ruin our country. We want jobs. That's rude, ma'am. What job did I take? I wonder what I do. Like, this is interesting. Like, I, f I feel like this is all very plausible. Hold right click to use GPS. Yo, can we get a hot dog? Yo, can I get a hot dog, dude? Guess not. I mean, to be fair, do you notice how clean everything is? Human music. Nick Cat just redeems Daily Punch. One dollar to hear music with soul. Hi, Nikki. Welcome in. Thank you for the punch. We're listening to some human music. Music with soul. Yo, to be fair though, human music would be cooler with an android as well. Like, if I went and had a duet with this guy, that'd be pretty sick. I'm not a big fan of human music, chat. What is Xenos? Is that from, like, a game? Okay, where are we? We gotta be close. Oh, it's closed that it's like a Fitbit. Oh, heck yeah, Nikki. Good stuff. Oh, aliens. Oh, that makes sense. No, you're right, Spazzy. That's that's actually true. Back on that, like, tangent, we'll all hate on androids, and by the time we accept androids, we'll hate on aliens. And then we'll accept aliens, and we'll find something else. I don't know. Where am I going? In here. Oh, yeah, the paint store. We've arrived at the paint store. Ooh, this this color organization pleases me. Hello. Identification verified. Here is your order number eight four seven. That will be sixty three ninety nine. Please confirm payment. Press F to pay. Respect. Or in this case, money. Payment confirmed. Transaction complete. Man, the sexual pressure in this conversation, you can cut it with a knife. Alright, we gotta take the bus home. It's a mid-sized fighter ship you can use. Oh, heck yeah, Nikki, that's cool. Glad you're enjoying Warframe so much. Use the following key to switch camera angle. Okay. 
Um, where am I going now? Am I going this way? Oh, way over there. I see it now. Okay. Okay. Alright, we got the paint, chat. We got the package. I'm pretty sure this is a cover-up for drugs. I think we're a drug android. Who's freaking out? Who's an android? God damn. People, even in the future, people don't have any real free time. Look at this. We got a tin can here, boys. Aw, oh, man, don't push me. Oh man, this is effed up. Let's try to get up. Chad, this is fucking really depressing. Humans suck. I feel like this game is going to make me like androids and not like humans. Oh, I got a tap E, okay. Oh, I'm turning yellow up there. I'm going right. Super Saiyan. It's enough. Leave it alone. Let us teach this bastard a lesson. Hey, teach me a lesson. I'm like a Roomba. Job next. Okay. Let's go. Run along. I can tell you had a really prestigious job, Ponytail. Yeah. I can tell by how much free time you have. You're really talented. All right. On uh, that note, with that a hole, um, we're going to quick take our first break of the night. So. Everyone go ahead and go take a stretch if you need to. Go grab a drink. Use the use the bathroom. And I will be right back. See you in a few. All right, we're back. All right, so we just got um, assaulted on the street by a bunch of homeless people or something. I do wonder if, like, you could see legislation or something in the future where, like, if this happened, where they would, like, put laws in place to not have it take certain jobs, you know? Like, it's one thing to have it, like, clean your house or something, but another thing to have it, like, um, doing, like, low-income jobs. Is this the bus station? Like, going here? They have to go around. Thank you, Harka. I have to wait for bus. So I noticed like his little blue thing on his head. It gets yellow and red when shit gets bad for them. <laughs> Is it all just androids on the bus? Oh, there's an android compartment. That's kind of fucked up. Oh, at the back of the bus. Wow, okay. Put all the androids at the back of the bus. Real cool. Hey, welcome back, TJ. Man, this game is kind of fucked up. What if I want to sit in the back of the bus with the androids? The cool kids are in the back of the bus, man. Um, oh damn. What could I have done to not end up on the bus? Oh, stare at the hot dog vendor? I wonder if I would have hung out there longer. I could have actually got the hot dog. Fuck! Damn, we fucked up, dude. Next time, hot dog playthrough. God damn. Fucking should have shot my shot, dude. I know better. You see a hot dog, you stick it in your mouth, chat. That's my tip for everybody. How is this guy affording an android exactly? Is he like on government assistance for androids? Do 
Yeah, take that tip to the bank with you. Use the following key for camera angle. Can I just like swivel this? Do I really need to hit that? I'm coming. Don't put me in front of a car again, dude. So she got her memory wipe, but I wonder if she'll remember things anyways. For two weeks, so the place is a mess. You do the housework, the washing, you cook the meals, and you take care of... God damn it, where the fuck's the brat gone now? Alice! Alice! Oh, there you are. That's Alice. Did she teleport? What the fuck? Homework, bath, all that crap. Got it? Yes, Todd. Get started down here, then you go upstairs. What a lovely guy. Yeah, I can. F I, he's making me feel straight. Hold your right click to scan your environment. Yeah, hell yeah, TJ. We got the we got our uh, sub goal yesterday, which was awesome. So he's got fucking Alexa. Oh hell yeah. Table clearing simulator. This is just prepping me for my future as a housewife chat. Where do I go with this? Yeah. Urgent task, collect trash, optional task, wash dishes, activate vacuum, check the backyard. Alright, let's wash the old dishes. Oh, this guy's a drug dealer. I can hear him in the background talking about it. Yeah, yeah. I can get that. This washer not working. Oh, we have to... Way off. Oh, can I just, like, download how to wash dishes? Yeah, same place. Or did she order a new dishwasher? Alright, chat. Look how good I am at washing dishes. Check this out. Check it out. You watching? That's how you do it. Y'all, let's go. Any prospective husbands out there? You see how good I am washing dishes? Oh, the little girl. Alright, check it. This is top gameplay. Dishwash simulator. Kara. Yes, Todd. Bring me a cold beer. Right away. Man, the fucking please would be cool. Here you go, Todd. Fucking Cool dude, was that a bong on the table? Collect trash bin. Um oh observation duty? I've heard of that. That actually looks really fun. I would enjoy playing that. Um, let's see here. I have to hit the trash bin? Where the fuck's the trash bin? Take trash bin. Okay. Fucking put Todd's attitude in it. Nice, dude. This place is looking good. I'm a fucking badass Android, dude. Todd, if you'll excuse me, I need to get all this shit. I'm sorry if I'm in your way. Yo, I wonder what kind of pizza the man's eating. Uh, clean kitchen. Okay. Why am I apologizing to Todd? Because I'm, I, I don't know. He's kind of asserted his dominance over me. Yo, if he tries abusing me, we're fucking going rogue android and killing him. Just like, uh, the android at the beginning. 
Well, I already forgot the android in the beginning's name. Gary or something like that? The one who had the kid hostage? I look so, like, proper for the area I live in. Alright, dude. Trash taken out. Let's go. Alright, what else is on my chore list? Report to Todd. Well, that's just an urgent task. We got We can do vacuum, and we can check the backyard, too. Let's do that first. Todd's coping or something right now, anyways, so. Todd's huffing some copium right now. Um, what do I do out here? I just want to pick up this one bin. Ah, yes, top tier. He's huffing the copium. Oh, it's for laundry, I see. You think this laundry's been hanging here for two weeks since she was here last? Hi, Alice. Um, rewash laundry. Yeah, we're probably going to have to rewash wash it. It probably was out here forever. Hi, Alice. Are you okay? That's a cute little fox you have there. Are you a furry? Um, let's see. How's school going? What about the weather? It's nice. Nice smog. You might catch cold. I could get you a sweater if you want. Oh, we fucked up. <laughs> you did not like us. Man, I'm bad at small talk. Alright. Where do we go with this? You guys back inside? <laughs> the are, are you a furry is a good opening line. Okay, Chad, okay. Chad, look how good I am at doing laundry. Make sure you take notes. Yo, what up, Seer? Thank you for the punch. Welcome in. See oh yeah. Just redeem his daily punch. I got this new thing. I got an actual punch thing. Let me actually punch you, Seer. One sec. Did you hear that? Can you hear the punch? I don't know if that actually is loud enough. <laughs> Sounded awesome. All right, cool. <laughs> oh man, scuffed as usual. What's this? Is there? Is this drugs hidden in it? Red ice. Yo, the, you know, not to be confused with blue ice from Breaking Bad. Oh no, what's going on? Shouldn't mess around with my stuff. Makes me nervous. I'm sorry, Tom. You just stay the fuck out of my business. Unless you want to piss me off. You want to piss me off? No, Tom. Why would you put it there? Todd? Yeah, that's good. In front of the kid. Nice. Alright, reset. Reset my mood. Yo, what if you can just get rid of anxiety that fast in real life? You're just like, go blue, go blue. God damn, dude. What you don't put your drugs in the laundry detergent, fucking idiot? Alright, what else I gotta do for this idiot? Uh, Rewash laundry. Okay. I gotta activate the Roomba. <laughs> oh no, DJ. Oh no. <laughs> that feels bad. Alright, Roomba on. Alright, I'll, I'll hydrate for Haruka while the Roomba does its thing. Me and the Roomba are gonna be best friends, I can tell already. Why is a little girl fighting with the Roomba? You better stop that right now. 
Oh god, I'd stop it if I were you, Alice. Dude's unhinged as shit. I don't know, why are you always fucking choking me? There's a time and a place for choking, and that was not it. I finished first floor. Start down here. I'll head upstairs. Do what you have to do, but stop bothering me. Uh, yes, sir. Damn. He is fucking smoking crack or meth or whatever that shit is. Hi, Alice. Can we try to riz Alice up here? Make her like us? Hi. I'm your new mommy. That's a cute toy. That's a pretty toy. What's its name? Oh, that's a great name. Chat, in case you missed that, the plushie's name is... Which, for I personally think is a great name. You left your dinosaurs on the stairs again. I stepped on it. Hurt my foot. Where are we going here? Todd's room, dude. Uh, dude, we're probably going to find more drugs in Todd's room. We're going to get our ass beat. Ooh, we can read. God, dude, I dare read anything in Todd's room. It's probably porn. Oh, sports. Even worse. Uh, Android quarterback. American football has largely resisted the spread of Android player, with top-tier games still an exclusively human affair. But that may be about to change. Following CyberLife's recent unveiling of technical demo, QB1000 is an Android quarterback capable of throwing from end zone to end zone and hitting a target six inches wide. How would that even be fun to watch? The model is also programmed with over 1,500 plays from classics of, such as bootlegs and handoffs to more specialized maneuvers of all time. Yo, you think it's like, you know, like fucking current, like AI shit, like chat GPT, it like fucks up all the time and is super scuffed. You think it would just like whip a ball randomly and kill a dude in the crowd for no reason? It was revealed recently in CyberLife's exhibition in Detroit, where the Android manufacturer showed a variety of prototypes designed to show the potential of bleeding edge technology. While CyberLife's latest innovation has some fans drooling, Roy Kenstone, founder of the Anti-Android Fan Club. Why are we interviewing that guy? That sounds like a dude who runs a subreddit. Sees a sinister aspect. Cyberlife know exactly what they are doing with this demonstration. They hope to distort our sport the same way they have all the others. Despite these reservations, some consider this simply a matter of time. With basketball and baseball already contemplating Android players, the LED sporting QB might be just around the corner. Tech Attic. The Price of Light. How driverless vehicles make life and death decisions. Uh, let's see here. When a driverless vehicle foresees an accident, the car's computer make life or death decisions. For example, deciding which of the two pedestrians to hit, but the exact process by which the cars make these decisions is not one understood. Yo, these, uh, these cars are basically like the trolley problems, you know? Martin Forlong of Crown Cars tries to clarify. In these situations, the car's imaging system gathers data to determine the pedestrian's age, gender, life expectancy, etc. in the blink of an eye. So it'll just fucking cruise through an old lady, no problem, doesn't give a shit. This data is parsed to the public record to determine marital status, employment record, life expectancy, and whether they have children. The car assigns a value to... Yo, you better be getting a better value, chat. It's gonna see my gay ass and hit me immediately. The car then assigns a value to each possible victim based on criteria like their contribution to society. Yeah, it's going to be like gay VTuber. Fucking smash, not pass. In this case, you want pass. We put a premium on lives that will save other lives like doctors and nurses. All this may sound very reasonable, but Felix Gamble, head of Anti-Automation League, AAL, says the system has no right to make such judgments. Somebody with a criminal record is not necessarily less valuable to society than a doctor. I disagree, but sure. That that kind of information is irrelevant to the sanctity of human life. But Forlong dismisses such claims. 
We want our cars to make the best possible choices, and that means acting on the basis of all information they can gather. Why doesn't it just hit no one? Well, we gotta hit somebody. Uh, what do we got here? More pills, huh? Antidepressants? So he's on Zoloft? Oh, let's put it right next to the gun. You unlock to die of log or action, often beneficial. Okay. Make his bed. Damn. That is a nice made bed. Oh my god, little girl's back. With her her endearingly named stuffed animal. What a name. God, this guy drinks a lot. Holy shit. Fucking fifth of Smirnoff? Like, for, for real though? Like, bro, like, put your fucking records back. How hard is that? The box was right there and you threw it on the ground? I feel like it took more effort to throw it on the ground. I don't think I should be watching TV. I guess it wants me to. Damn, I turned it on with my mind. Hi, Satome. Welcome in. We're just watching TV. Let me. Can you hand your card out for me? I got a new puncher. One second, let me punch it for you. Got your punch there? I don't even know if you guys can fucking hear that thing. Okay, we're watching, uh... So, like, um... If they'd only have, like, one on team, that's not too bad. What else is on? Chat, this looks AI-generated. Uh-oh. I wouldn't be touching that white liquid cloud, my friend. Oh no. It's the vaping dragon. <laughs> oh yeah. Bro, what do you think's in the pail? All right, what else is on? Jobs were lost in the U.S. economy in October, according to the Department of Labor, bringing the unemployment figure up to thirty-seven point. Oh man, I definitely blame whatever president is currently in office, and then the last seventeen presidents in office for the unemployment rate, because you know how that goes. You know, everything was fine before Reagan, chat. We'll be saying that for the next hundred years. President Warren spoke today at the opening of a new cyber life plant near Milwaukee. Well, near Milwaukee? Again plays cyber life's role in the exceptional performance of the U.S. economy. She further announced that the Department of Defense will acquire 200,000... Oh, damn, they're putting them to war? As part of her increased military... That's not good. All right, what else can we do? Oh, there's still a lot of shit we have to do in here. Ventilate. Chat, allow me to ventilate. What's up shift? I understand. Oh. I understand. Maybe. Oh, mouse wheel? Do I have to scroll the mouse wheel? Is that what this is trying to say? I don't understand what I'm doing. Oh, both buttons. Wow, okay. Instructions unclear, chat. Instructions unclear. Let's tidy up. These look like unpaid bills. Was that a nudie mag?
Oh, I'm distressed by whatever I saw. So the more yellow an android gets, you think like that's the closer it goes to going crazy. Alright, what else we gotta do in here? Anything? We already read that. Does it want me to read it again? Did I not read everything? I swear we read all this, right? I definitely read that. Yeah, I don't know. We definitely read this thing. What am I missing? Hmm. Whatever, I guess. Maybe it's just saying I can keep reading it. Go calm down, bro. You clog the toilet. What's in here? Bathroom. Filthy. Filthy. I like how. <laughs> It's just tidy. You think the Android has like a specific order it's programmed to like put the shampoo bottles? Yo, this bitch is tidy as hell. Can't tell me that's not tidy, chat. Oh shit, we got a mop. Get the Swiffer wet jet out. Alright, watch this form, chat. Ninety-nine point eight percent coverage. Um. Okay. Now what? Bam! That fucking dramatic ass noise when you enter the menu. Hello. I just want to tidy up your room a little. Make bed, ventilate Two room. Minutes. Is that okay, Alice? All right. I figured out how to open windows, Chad. That could be important later. This looks unsafe. She's spying on me. I wonder what's going on, why the kid's like not talking to me. Hey there. Uh, let's be... Let's be friendly. I'm sure we used to be friends before I was reset. Maybe we can be friends again. Um. Interest. Tell me about yourself. What you like to do, where you like to go, your favorite foods. That would really help me. Nope. Maybe I should say my name's Car, because didn't Todd say that she I named me? You chose my name. Car. It's nice. How did you choose it? Um, you're very quiet. <laughs> just... I hope I don't scare you. Oh, no, we scared her. What? what was that? She pulled the pin on a grenade and put it in my hand, I think. Ooh, a key. <laughs> a very shitty looking key. Is that for something in here? Ask Todd for new instructions. Where's this key go, though? Here? AW Treasures. What's all this? Four leaf clover, got it. Gonna steal that. We'll need that later. Well, apparently, this was her mom.
Is that her, the little girl being abused? She's got like a bloody head. The fuck? I don't think she likes Todd. <laughs> oh, here's Todd buying the android. Oh no, he's slapping her. Oh no! What the fuck? My hand! Why am I crying out of my arm? Oh no. The fucking deep lore of what happened to me. Todd fucking tore my arm off. I probably touched this fucking detergent crack one too many times. This is on the ground. Oh, Alice in Wonderland. Classic. Should we check out our little... This is a pretty sick fort, dude. You slap a dog bed in here and you got a nice little... Nice little place to stay. <laughs> Drawn on the walls. Is she feeding the sun? Interesting. And books we got. How to kill an android. How to disable a android. How to dismember an android. Ah, yes. Great books. Alright. I think we have to go back to Todd, unfortunately. That bundle of sunshine downstairs. What was he thinking? You think your dad's a low life? Huh? God, this guy's got some problems. Can't get a job, take care of his family. Don't you think I tried to make things work? But whatever I do, when someone comes along, they just fuck it all up. I know what you think of me. You hate me. You hate me, don't you? Let her go, dude. Say it. All right, I'm you stepping in. Me. What a fucked up dude. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You lay off the red crack, dog. You know I love you, don't you? You know I love you. <laughs> She's like, will you help me, dude? <laughs> Fuck. Well, that's a lovely fucking little bundle of sunshine of a family, huh? Yo, we did such a good job of cleaning. What all happened here now? Uh, we saw a gun. Oh, we discovered a way down. That's what that is. So that might, we might have to escape at some point. What did we miss on the first floor here? We missed a couple things. Sorry, Chad, or Todd trying to choke me out fucking really distracted me on the first floor. My bad game. Um... Okay. <laughs> I like that little car. Oh, we're this guy again. Alright, we got the paint. We have gotten the paint. Thank you for the biddies, Ark. Uh, appreciate you. We are just shit three bits. Oh, we're Marcus. Yo, the guy who owns this is loaded. Let's go. Ray T. M. Just hi, hi, Ray. Thank you for the punch. And the man official, thank you for three bits. I appreciate you. The underscore man underscore official Connor eats it. pants is in this game? Cheer no one, way. Cheer one, cheer one, a quid saved is a quid earned. Did you know Connor eats pants is in this game? <laughs> I guess we'll find out. Oh, and Ray, Ray, let me see your punch card. I got a new punch thing here. Let me see your card. All right, you're punched. You're good. All right, so we are now Marcus. So I'm guessing we're jumping between characters in this game. I don't know if you guys can hear that little punch. I get. I have a. I have a bought a punch thing. Let's see, it's a bit. 
I don't know if you can hear that. <laughs> I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna talk as loud as I hope. Uh, let's deposit the paint. Paints delivered. Take care of Carl. Oh, we're we're gonna take care of Carl, all right. You can hear it. All right, cool. What's this? <laughs> what are these little dudes? Are they alive? Oh, they're robot birds. Yo, that's cool as shit. Aw, they're cute. I want some. Chat, I fucking knew the conspiracies were true. Birds aren't real. The underscore man underscore official just cheered. Thank you for the one bit. ST three W D D D D D W D forty. Yes. I think. Is that Android language you're trying to speak? Um, let's fucking figure this house out. Wake Carl upstairs. So let's, I guess let's explore a bit first. Then we'll go wake our boy Carl. Uh, let's see here. Take. Are we bringing Carl food? Or are we just clean this up? Oh, it's got a little smiley face on it. Okay. Take tray to dining room table. I don't know where that is. Over here? How do I get here? Oh, this table? Dude, what a nice house. This man has a fucking giraffe. Nothing says baller like a damn giraffe in your living room. That's how you know you've made it, chat. When you wake up every day and you see a giraffe's head peeking up over your second store balcony. That's how you know. We got another book. The North Pole, why Russia wants it. Of course, dude. Putin's always trying to take shit. It's not his. Russia's interest in the North Pole has intensified with the recent discovery of precious minerals trapped in frozen ice, many of which are used in synthesizing Ethereum. Uh, the, the Bitcoin thing? Android manufacturer increasingly dominates both U.S. and Russia economies, but this isn't just about GDP. Surplus Ethereum reserves would allow either nation to experiment in more advanced Android models, enhancing their military and industrial output. Okay. Add to the strategic importance of the region, which connects Russia with Europe through Norway and Denmark, Greenland, as well as Canada, and the prospect of a peaceful resolution to the dispute seems unlikely. But a spokesperson for NATO is more optimistic. Both nations stand to benefit from a stable, productive Arctic region. A conflict would benefit nobody. President Warren, however, recently torpedoed the notion. It's simple. Russia has no business in the Arctic. If the Kremlin doesn't understand that, we'll make them understand. Damn. Not fucking around. What we got here? Life found on Titan? The Darwin probe, which left exactly 19 years ago to probe the surface of Titan's methane ice, has just confirmed the presence of microorganisms living hundreds of kilometers below the surface in an ocean of salt water protected by a thick layer of ice. After similar microbial matter was found on Enclidius, another satellite of Saturn, it seems increasingly possible that life is common in the universe. A NASA spokesman responded to this story has stated... The latest in a series of pointers to life on other planets, our android expeditions to Io is one of among many such voyages that carry a prime objective of uncovering extraterrestrial life forms. Oh, true, they can just send these androids in the in like spaceships and shit, right? They can fly for a long time. 
Jason Graff, director of humanization at CyberLife, said the company was committed to its partnership with NASA. Our spacefaring androids are specially designed to function on long-range missions of this kind, and we are proud to have our models at the frontier of human exploration. I like these, like, little books. They're cool. They're, like, a cool kind of guess at what might happen in, like, what is this? This takes place 14 years from now? Was it 38? Skirt goes spinny, chat. Ah, yes. The giraffe. Majestic in its beauty. Oh, what else can I check out? I think that's, uh, there's some over here. Can I play the piano? Hell yeah. What a badass. Alright, Harker wants the androids to hydrate. <laughs> I got you. Uh, let's see here. What's on the shelf? Some books. Some fancy books. Hydrate! Uh, where am I going? Where the fuck is Carl? Carl! Ooh, this is cool. You walk in like it opens up. Oh, we gotta tidy up his paint station. So I'm guessing Carl here is a painter. And by how nice his fucking house is, I'm guessing it's a pretty good one. <laughs> Why does he have, like, a freaking giant robot hand? Anything else I can do in here? It's over here. Carl, always making such a mess of your paint studio. Look at this place, I swear. It's over here. Aren't you supposed to like not leave just a bottle of open paint like that? Is that gonna go bad? He's got some wild looking paintings, though. Anything other than the book? I don't understand why the books don't, like, go away after I read them. I'm guessing they just stay interactable. So it says go upstairs. Can I climb these stairs? What are these stairs even for? They're just, like, aimed at the damn wall. All right, there must be another way up. The giraffe done fucked those stairs up. Can I fucking run, dude? Yeah, artist. What are we doing? Making a mess, owning giraffes. Classic. Damn, look at this one. This one's cool. He really likes that color blue, huh? What the hell is this man's bedroom, dude? <laughs> Bro, I'm just fucking lost in this big ass mansion ass house. Ooh, look at his backyard. He's got a goddamn statue back there. What the fuck? Oh, is this his room? Carl! Just wake him up by drawing the curtains. Wake up! Good morning, Carl. Good morning, Carl. It's 10 a.m. <laughs> weather is 10 a.m., you lazy fuck. 64 degrees. 80% humidity with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. This sounds like a good day to spend in bed. I did go to pick up the paint that you ordered. Oh, yes, I've forgotten. 
That is the difference between you and me, right, Marcus? You never forget anything. <laughs> yep, that's me. I'm like an elephant. Show me your arm, please, Carl. No. <laughs> I like this old guy. Thank you. He's funny. I just opened my eyes and I'm already gritting my teeth. All right, this will only hurt a little bit. It's such a fragile machine. They break down so quickly. All this effort to keep them going. Hey, what happened to your clothes? Oh, it's nothing. Just some demonstrators in the street, Carl. What a bunch of idiots. Hey, man, dude. They think they can stop progress by roughing up a few androids? I hope they didn't harm you. Oh, no, no. They just pushed me around, Carl. I'm fine. Okay. Dude, Carl's you. based. If anyone, I just met, met Carl chat, but if anyone hurts him, I swear to God. I don't know how the meme actually goes, but you get it. I'm going to fucking make that meme after this. Oh, I have to keep holding this. Okay. All right, we're carrying Carl. That's uh, Anarchist chat. Anarchist is the only one in chat that can carry somebody. <laughs> I like that, like, hissing cat statue. <laughs> All right, Carl. Back in bed. Or in your wheelchair. There you go, buddy. Nice and easy. Oh, yeah, he has some sick tasks, doesn't he? Anything special on the agenda today? Yes, there's the opening of your retrospective at the Museum of Modern Art. The gallery director left four messages asking to <laughs> your attendance. Hmm. How do we get him down? I haven't decided yet. We'll see about that later. Okay. What else? Will we just throw him down? Fan mail. I've already answered. Hmm. Oh, I see. From Leo? No, Carl. I can call him if you like. No. No, I don't bother. I wonder who Leo is. Yo, this game is a trip, man. We're just like cleaning houses and taking care of people and shit. Oh, well, okay. This is ready. Bacon and eggs, just the way you like them. Thank you, Marcus. You're welcome. Guess we're going this way. We gotta go feed him. <laughs> Can I get him through? Uh, if we can just, uh, Carl, just go ahead and, um, hmm, yeah, just one second. <laughs> I don't think I can get him through. <laughs> Maybe there's another way. Oh, that's right. I brought his food out here earlier. I'd like to have my breakfast before noon. Okay, enough with the enough of the attitude. Doing my best, Carl. Doing my best. Well, uh, television. You find something to do while I finish my breakfast. Oh, sure. Hmm? Okay, Carl. <laughs> what am I gonna do? I'm gonna go play piano. What we got over here? Was there anything else? I can uh read a book, probably. Yeah, let's read a book. What we got? Shakespeare, Plato, Keats, Odes. I don't fucking know any of that. 
What about playing the piano? Uh, let's play piano. I want to hear how this guy plays. Uh, what do we want? Ooh, intimate. Let's go. I know the timing. It's like a rhythm game. What if I go really fast? Yo, it sounds cool. <laughs> Bravo. Something's changed in the way you play. Sometimes I think you have more humanity than most humans. Ah, oh, thank you. One day I won't be here to take care of you anymore. You'll have to protect yourself and make your choices. Decide who you are and want to become. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. Let's go to the studio. Dude, this is the most base character ever. I will die for this man, dude. All right. Where's your studio, girl? What are we painting today? Oh, is that what the robot's for? It moves them around to the studio? That's kind of cool. <laughs> Yo, that's sick. Let's see where we left off. Remove the sheet. I got you, homie. Oh, damn. Is he painting me? Tony, he really likes that blue. This shit's crazy. Ah, uh, yes. A good three minutes of work. And we'll pick it back up next week. So, what's your verdict, Marcus? Uh, I love it. Yeah, there is something about it. Hmm. Something I can't... Quite define. I guess I like it. The truth is, I have nothing left to say anymore. Each day that goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Carl. Carl. Don't say that. But enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. Oh, we're going to paint? Give it a try. Try painting something. Paint? But would I... Painting what? Anything you want. Give it a try. <sighs> Hell yeah. Yeah, I'm known for my, my paint skills, chat. I'm something of an artist myself. 
Find a subject to paint. Paint statue. Paint desk. Paint Carl's painting. Can I move more than this? Or am I kind of like trapped here? Hmm. I can't paint. Eh, the desk looks boring. So let's try to make his painting. He's probably going to give me shit for not being original. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> oh, damn, I copied it exactly. <laughs> something you see Carl I don't think I can do that it's not in my program I... go on go try it grab that canvas Carl's not my program dude do something for me close your eyes close your eyes trust me all right we're closing our eyes Try to imagine something that doesn't exist, something you've never seen. Now concentrate on how it makes you feel. And let your Oh no, I'm turning yellow up there. Uh androids, humanity, or identity. Let's do identity. Uh despair, doubts, prisoner. Let's do despair. Let's make this really dark. Like all good art. Oh, yes. We got a D. It needs the D, chat. A little bit of D never hurt anything. Okay, yep, yep. We're cooking? I drew, drew despair in school once. My teacher was not happy. Oh, damn. Oh, wow. That actually looks really cool. Oh, my God. <laughs> Who's this guy? Some fucking crackhead? Oh, his son, of course. Leo. Oh, that's Leo. I didn't hear you come in. No, I was in the neighborhood. I thought I'd stop by. It's been a while, right? You all right? Oh, no, yeah, he's cracked out for sure. Look so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, I need some cash, Dad. I owe this guy Todd some money. What happened to the money I just gave you? Uh, well, it just goes, you know? <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, classic. Classic money, man. It just goes. Chat, on that note, money just goes. Can I get some bits? No, no, I swear no I'm kidding. Uh, don't lie to me, Leo. What difference does it make? I just need some cash. That's all. God, Leo's a fucking crazy. The answer's no. What? Why? Oh, we're cutting him off. Why? Yeah, yeah, I think I do know why. <laughs> you'd, rather, you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, right? Tell me, Dad, what's, what's he got that I don't? Smarter, more obedient, not like me, right? Ooh. You know what? This thing is not your son. It's a fucking machine. Oh, don't push me, dude. Enough. You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. You've never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. You never loved me. You never loved me. All I asked for for my birthday was crack. Well, that was dramatic. All right. We're going to do our quick ad break chat. Uh, we can uh, go ahead and let that all settle in. Settle in. <laughs> we'll be back in just a few minutes. Uh, and yeah, we'll play some more. See you guys soon. All right, we're back. Bill, hi.
Welcome in. Thank you for the punch. We're on break there. Phil, can I see your punch card real quick? I got a I got an official puncher here. Give me one sec. Alright, you're all punched in. That's my new bit. Uh welcome in. We're about halfway through the stream. So so far, uh games been pretty awesome. I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of tense. It's a little more tense than I'm used to with games, but I'm really liking it. Um so, like, yeah, there was the intro where we played as the Connor android, and that was pretty interesting. Um, but there wasn't much to that one. Then we were the Kara android, and if, like, Todd makes it out of this game alive, I'm going to be sad. Like, if I get the opportunity to kill him myself, we're taking it. Um, and now we've just, we're playing as Marcus android, and, um, the Marcus android is probably my favorite of the three right now anyways and carl is like base as hell the one person he's taking care of his cracked out son just showed up stirred the pot a little bit but we'll see how that all plays out so but yeah uh let's get back to the gameplay shall we and don't forget if you guys want to redeem any spins feel free and we'll t do them after breaks so all right hope you're having a good day phil by the way welcome in good to see you as always You're tired? Aw. Oh, this was a perfect point to end. We were right here. Good. Uh, for break. Tuesdays suck. Aw, oh, man. Oh, let's see. We missed some stuff here. Oh, these, because we could do different stuff. We could have read a book, and I didn't find the third option. Um... And then we got to choose what we wanted to paint. And we went to despair painting. And then Leo came in and wanted money and called me an asshole or something. Alright. Let's head to the next chapter. November 5th. 2038. Oh, is this a... Yeah, no, this is Connor again. Alright. He's always flipping his little coin. No androids allowed. Owners will be prosecuted. Uh-oh. We're gonna start some shit here, I can tell already. Find Lieutenant Anderson. Alright, we're scanning. Move the mouse around. Okay. No face detected. Target turned away. Okay. Uh, pretty much, Ray, from what I can tell. There hasn't really been too much action. There's, like, some quick time events in story and choices. It's about, it's about, like, 14 years in the future where they've made really, really human androids. And, um, I think we're kind of, like, following their lives. Find Lieutenant Anderson scan faces. Is he taking a piss? Like, anyone with the little blue power button on their head is an android. And then, if it's blue, they're chill. If it's yellow, I think the android's, like, malfunctioning or something. And if it turns red, they're full-on, like, rogue. 31% employment rate. When will it stop? Alright, well, how do we find this guy? How do I scan faces? Yellow is processing, red is threatened. Oh, okay. Oh, we just click on people. He does not look like his picture, does he? Hey, buddy. Lieutenant Anderson. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> assigned a case early this evening 
a homicide involving a cyber life android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance, especially not from a plastic asshole like you. So just be a good little robot. Whatever my asshole's made out of is not your business, right? Uh, we're gonna persist. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I must insist. My instructions stipulate that I have to accompany you. Do you know where you can stick your instructions? My plastic asshole? No. <laughs> where? Never mind. <laughs> uh, let's try to reason with the man. Listen, I think you should stop drinking and come with me. It'll make life easier for both of us. Uh... Let's buy him another drink. Fuck it. You know what? I'll buy you one for the road. <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> Bartender, the same again, please. See that gym wonders of technology. Make it a double. Look, you find Connor attractive. Connor is very kind of cute. He's like nice and I don't know. He's like. They were talking earlier about like the androids being made to look like good and uh pleasing or whatever. <laughs> we got him, dude. Gotta buy him a drink, that's all. <laughs> Why is he driving? Should I be driving? <laughs> the man's fucking drunk. <laughs> Uh, let's be diplomatic. I want to come with. Listen, I don't give a fuck about your instructions. I told you to wait here, so you shut the fuck up and you wait here. Do we wait? I don't think we wait. We gotta follow him, right? <laughs> yeah, let's go. <laughs> Maybe I can just shut the fuck up and meet him in the halfway, you know? I'm not confirming anything. Typical DTV. They don't tell us shit. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me. Oh, hell yeah. He let me come in. You stay in the car, didn't you understand? Your order contradicted my instructions, Lieutenant. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Evening, Hank. <laughs> we're starting to think you weren't gonna show. Yeah, that was the plan till this asshole found me. <laughs> I like this guy too. Android, huh? oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. Have you ever call around eight from the landlord? Seven hundred. Paid his rent for a few months, so he thought he'd drop by, see what was going on. And that's when he found the body. Ooh. Before we open the window, Ugh. the victim's name's Carlos Ortiz. He has a record for theft and aggravated and assault. aggravated assault. Okay. According to the neighbors, he was kind of a loner. Stayed inside most of the time. They hardly ever saw him. Well, stayed he's in. Wasn't worth calling everybody out in the middle of the night. Could have waited till morning. Are we gonna lick the blood? I'd say. <laughs> Ortiz. Been there for a good three weeks. We'll know more when the coroner gets here. No fingerprints. Android involvement? There's question mark. A knife over here. It's probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break in? Uh, we can confirm that's his blood. So once we taste the blood, once we can tell. All the windows were boarded up. The killer must have gone out the back way. What do we know about his Android? Well, it says I am alive on the wall, so I'm guessing it's an android that did this. I gotta get some air. Make yourself at home. I'll be outside if you need me. Ooh, what's this? Is that like an android sex club?
Hmm. Where's more evidence over there? I'd like to taste some more blood. And the vampire model. Oh, fucking dude. Red eyes. Victim used drugs. Classic. There's like a... The Heisenberg version of an android from Breaking Bad in this city making red eyes. More blood of... Damn, they had this guy torn around the entire place. There's blood here, too? What, they kick him through a fucking wall? Chris, was this written in the victim's blood? Fingerprints, um... Of the guy. Signs of a struggle. I would say so. Taking samples for analysis. Art of Android sex officially better. Sorry, ladies, but plastic can't be beat. Alright, let's read it. You got me. <laughs> the result of our survey is in, and it's official. 68% of men prefer sex with an android to a real woman. And 52% of men saying they've tried experience at least once. There were a few reasons given to this preference, but we think we know the real reason. Androids don't want to talk about their feelings afterwards. Ooh, wow, okay. <laughs> it's kind of fucked up. Tech addict. Is your android spying on you? Click to read more. More and more experts are suggesting that Cyberlife uses its 120 million androids to re record detail of private conversations. So basically, it's just like Facebook. The spate of reports linking Warren's presidency to cyber life only deepens. Oh, damn, there's conspiracy theories. Goes as deep as the president? It's over here. Red ice. Oh, that's where the knife came from. Carlos liked to party. Chris, I want analysis on the narcotics consider it done lieutenant um ooh, that's his fingerprints right was he beating the hell out of the android with a bat dent violent trauma traces of theorem earlier they said theorem theorem was used to make the robot so i wonder he must have been bashing it. Oh, okay. All right, let's see what happened here. All right, we got to reconstruct. So it looks like he hit something. Oh, it's a deviant. Chat, for those just joining us, deviants are what they call the rogue androids. Deviant was attacked and put in emotional shock. Oh, fuck, dude. So then he stabbed him. So that's how this went down. He's chilling. Homeboy, bam. One, two, three licks to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop. And then you're done. Alright, I got you, Haruka. Yeah, Mike. Thing in the backyard. What's this? Shoe print, uh, from cops. Always locked from the inside. Killer must have gone out this way. There are no footprints apart from Officer Collins' size ten shoes. Well, this happened weeks ago. Tracks could have faded. No, this type of soil would pertain to trace. Nobody's been out here for a long time. So how did they get out? 
<laughs> Phil. <laughs> this reminds you to update the starting soon screen with new messages. Hell yeah. Let's see here. Ooh, there's something here. Ortiz's blood. We're still missing two pieces of evidence. Oh, they're I had, that's because they were looking at the body when I was over here. Oh, gross, dude. Oh, he stabbed him a lot. Internal bleeding, 28 stab wounds. Oh, he's looking good. It's Mr. Mr. Ortiz. Uh, red ice all over his face. What else? What am I missing? Hmm. I'm missing something. One more clue to analyze. But where? I don't know. He was stabbed. Twenty. Yeah, no shit. Yeah. Yeah. Seems like the killer really had it in for him. All right, can I now? Can I look at it? I'm just gonna keep clicking. I don't understand what I'm missing. We're the last clout. Oh, it's hand. Um. Oh, we got his fingerprints. Reconstructing. Oh God. Victim was stabbed. So it looks like the android got hella pissed at some point. And like drug him out here from the kitchen where he stabbed him initially. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, he wasn't really even dead yet. And then he stabbed him a shit ton of times. Damn. So he really triggered the android. this I am alive cybernetic sands it means an Android wrote it for sure right um, review evidence I'm missing one piece of evidence still what am I missing someone I came in All right, we just gotta find the last evidence. Is it in the kitchen? Oh, I didn't go over here. Here we go. Obsessive writing. The fuck is this? Religious offering? Question mark. Yo, it looks like that thing I was finding in Story of Seasons the other day. All right, we found all the evidence. Now what? Report to Lieutenant Anderson. Okay. So, I mean, it's pretty obvious that Android did this. And there's no signs of how he escaped. So, I guess that's the next thing we gotta figure out, is where the fuck he is. Lieutenant, I think I figured out what happened. Oh, yeah. Shoot, I'm all ears. <laughs> it all started. In the kitchen.
clear signs of a struggle. The question is, what exactly happened here? I think the victim attacked the android with a bat. With the bat. <laughs> God, dude, that's so brutal. Knock it off. The android threw the chair, the android stabbed the victim. The android the stabbed, android the victim. stabbed the victim. So the android was trying to defend itself, right? At first. Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to... The living room, the garden. The living room. Jesus. sense the android murdered the victim with a knife with the knife okay cheese of peace it doesn't tell us where and the android went we are just cheered one bit it was hydrate. damaged by the bat all right i'll hydrate lost some, lost some what theory you call it blue blood it's the fluid that powers androids bio. Oh, so it's like oil. Okay. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Oh. But I bet you can still see it, can't you? Correct. Yeah. So we got to figure out where the android went. We can follow his trail if he was bleeding, right? Bump bump. Is this the way, or is this just where he came out here? Oh no, because there's where he came out, but then he went back. Ooh, there's an examine point here, one sec. A ladder was used, oh shit. Oh, <laughs> is he in the fucking, is he in the ceiling? <laughs> Find something to climb. Oh, we're yellow right now. Do we go, are we still yellow or we go back blue? Went back blue. That just spooked us. Um, how do I climb up there? Climbing on brooms, yeah, yeah. Oh, the chair. Duh. Let's go get that chair. Hey, 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 what are you doing with that chair? I'm going to check something. <laughs> I'm going to check something. Uh, check something. So, did he pull the ladder up after he's in there? Is he still in the attic? Am I about to get jump scared, chat? Is that his shadow? Yo, this is creepy, dude. Look for Deviant. Yeah, he's definitely fucking up here. Oh, shit. Gotcha. Oh, fuck. It was just a mannequin. There's still blood everywhere, so. Gotta be up ahead. Unless he jumped out a window. Bro, I gotta be careful. I wonder if he's... No, the bat's downstairs. I'm gonna say. Oh, fuck! <laughs> he's on the move, dude. He's on the move. He's definitely here. <laughs> Why am I not talking to him? He's skirting around like a little rat.
Hey, buddy. You know, last time I had a talk with an android, you ended up dead, so that's good. I have a good track record. I'm a great negotiator. <laughs> One of the best. Oh, damn, he's red. Uh-oh. For starters, okay, he was defending himself at first. But then he, like, stabbed the shit out of and wrote, I'm alive and his blood on the wall. So I think that kind of crossed the line. Found the deviant. We found him. I wonder what this... What happens here? What I miss? I missed the whole thing down here that led into some kind of crazy shit. Interesting. Are you sure it's his blood? I saw no licking. True, true, true. Damn, he was just like scurrying around the attic. Oh, we're back to Kara. Is it Kara or Kara? Oh god, he's passed out from all his drugs. <laughs> Dinner is ready. Damn, this guy's fucked. Serve dinner, serve food. Well, let's get Todd taken care of first so he fucking fucks off. There wasn't much in the kitchen. I did what I could. Yo, spaghetti? Let's go. Alright, Phil, yeah, you go get some spaghetti. Turn on the light. Where's the little light at? Is this over here? No, that's already on. Turn on the lights. I'm trying, Todd! See shit. Oh, they're over here. God damn. Sir Ballas and Todd. Alright. Life's funny. I lost my job. Did you? I need somebody to take care of this goddamn house. You sure it's not because you're a crack addict? Yeah, dude. Go out and hire a fucking android. I'll make a joke. Of course, androids are so fucking wonderful. You need to chill. They're never tired. They're never sad. Perfect, they ruined my fucking life. <laughs> She's just standing there like just ignoring it. What's your fucking problem? Why do you keep aggressing on your daughter? Chill. Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Maybe you think this is easy. What, sitting around someone crack? Seems pretty easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off! Probably was. You should stop taking drugs, Todd. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. <laughs> the bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking account! Oh my god, calm down, dude. Daddy, no! Oh, you're a fucking fault! Oh my god. Fucking chill, dude. Holy shit. You know it's your fault. You stay there. Okay. Don't you dare fucking move. Or I'll bust you worse than last time. Oh god. 
Don't move. All right, I don't think we should be moving. Should I move? Oh, don't move, don't move. I want to move, though. All oh, my programming won't let me. I wonder if last time I was trying to protect the kid, and that's how I got beaten up. Yo, let's break the code, dude. We're hacking. We're hacking. We gotta go check on the little kid. Yeah. Fuck you, Todd. Protect Alice. Let's go. Can we kill Todd? Reason with Todd? Nah, fuck Todd, dude. There's no reason with this fucker. Dude, that guy's just getting all cracked up. Was this her room? No, that's Todd's room. Room was in the back, right? This one. Jesus. Come on. We're getting you the fuck out of here. Um, where are we getting out of here, dude? Let's get her out. You're coming with me. Hide in another room. Ooh, let's hide in the bathroom, maybe? Or what's this room here on the right? Let's hide in A. He's not gonna check here. He's too stupid. No, no, go back in. Oh, fuck, he found us. I won't let you hurt her. You won't let me. She's mine. I do what I want with her. Damn. This piece of shit. Oh no. Alright, I think we gotta kill Todd. Get up! Oh no. Oh wait. I know what to do. I know what to do. There is a gun in here. There was a gun in here, chat. Fuck Todd, dude. Piece of shit. Let's go. Fuck, we gotta go save her, dude. Fuck you, Todd, dude. Stop wriggling. Fuck you, Todd, dude. Oh, no. Yeah. Fuck you. Hell no, dude. I'm pulling the trigger. I want you to leave her alone. You want? What do you mean you want? What are you gonna do? Well, I should have done a long time ago, dude. You're gonna shoot a human? Oh no! I need that. We have a problem. I think we need to fix that. Why didn't I shoot? Oh no! Oh no! Dodge! 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 dodge, dodge. Oh, I messed up. Fuck. <laughs> no, no, no. Get the gun. Get the gun. Oh, I missed one. Oh, no. I'm getting my ass kicked. Come on. All right. Come on. Good. I got that one. Oh, QE, QE, QE. Did I get it? DDD. Oh, no. I missed that one. This is too hard. Hey. Come on. Get the gun. Get the gun. I gotta get the gun. I gotta get the gun. D. Hey. All right, focus up, focus up. W. W. Did I get it? Holy shit, did I get it? <laughs> oh, get fucking wrecked. <laughs> Fuck you. I did it, chat. Todd's fucking dead. Let's go. Time to go. <laughs> Time to get the fuck out of here. You know, even if we get caught for this chat, this little girl's gonna have a way better life now, no matter what. 
We got on the bus? There you go, got on the bus. Shouldn't I be in the back? <laughs> Holy shit, dude. <laughs> Damn. Aw. Thank you for killing my shitty dad. Yeah, no problem, little girl. I got you. I don't even remember her name. What was her name? Damn, that was crazy. I almost fucked up there so many times. I tried to... I tried to hide that fucking room and I fucked it up. And then he found me, like, immediately. That was the worst idea ever. Okay. Yeah, right here. Fail to hide. I probably could have hide and then snuck out. Oh my god. There was so... That could have gone so much better. So here's uh, when I saw the gun earlier. That unlocked the gun option. Fucking... Oh, I could have lost that fight, I think. There are a couple different things could have happened there. You know, we shot the shit out of Todd. That's the outcome I wanted, honestly. So I'm happy with how that went. I wish I didn't get my ass kicked like a bitch so much, but you know. Fuck, Chad. Can we... You know what? No, not, I don't even want any 07s for Todd. He doesn't deserve them. I've been to in the last 25 years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? Fucking based, Carl, dude. Cocktail parties and all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're going to make out of it. Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. Let's get Carl a drink. Scotch, neat as usual. <laughs> Absolutely. My man. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. <laughs> Which one's Scotch? Oh, this one. I bet this guy has the good shit too. He's overloaded. Did you leave the light on in the studio? Oh no. No, I'm sure I didn't. His shitty son's here. Call the police. Detroit police, what's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. I don't think we should, Carl. Carl, why don't you stay here? Marcus, no, I'm gonna come with you. Absolutely not. It's not safe. It's fucking him. What's his name? Leo. Leo. Who's here? My father's plastic toy. Leo. What's going on? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. Yes, sir. I'm waiting for this. I'm gonna warn you once. Look, I've already called the police. You should go now before you get yourself into more trouble. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? I'm not good enough for you? I'm not perfect like this fucking thing? That's enough. Get out right now. What makes it so special Ooh. anyway, huh? What's it got that I don't Leave him alone! Oh no, don't touch fucking Carl! Let's see what you got! Oh, this bitch touched Carl. I'm gonna be his ass. Don't defend yourself, you hear me? Don't defend myself. Don't do anything. Okay. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Alright. Carl told me not to hit him, so I'm not gonna hit him. Oh no, Carl, are you okay? Stop it, Leo! Stop it! Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch! Stop! I must decide for myself. Ooh, do I do it? Sorry, Leo. Er, sorry, Carl. But your son's a dickhead. And you taught me to do this. You said think for myself. 
I'm gonna think for myself and bitch slap your son. Oh right, that's right. I forgot you're not a real person. You're just a fucking piece of plastic. Oh, Leo, leave him alone. <laughs> no, Carl's having a heart attack, dude. Right, now it's just me and my dad. I'm gonna tear you apart, and nobody's gonna give a shit anymore because you're nothing. Fuck you, Leo. Oh, I killed him on accident. Oops. Oh God. <laughs> Whoops. Oh well, one less crackhead. Oh my God. Leo. Leo, no. Oh no. They'll destroy you, Marcus. You gotta go. Get out of here. Oh no. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Get out! Go! Uh -oh. Go! I've done a lot of killing so far in this game. Marcus! Don't fucking move! Oh no! That game over. Police mix mistook Marcus for the aggressor. Fucking dude, oh man. <laughs> Fucking whoops. Why'd you kill him? You're gonna rip Marcus. How long were you in the attic? Why didn't you even try to run away? Say something, goddammit! <laughs> Fuck it. I'm out of here. Let me at him. Let me at him. Hi, Hank. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. You can always try ruffling up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it, and that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I could try questioning it. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have to lose? Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. Thank you, Hank. Alright. Somehow I'm going to end up killing this too, probably. So that's about the track record I've had so far. <laughs> it's like tank controls. Fuck. Turn around. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Had a rough couple days, huh? Um, he's currently yellow. Uh, signs of software instability. Probability of self-destruction is currently low. Dried blood from the victim. Uh, model HK400, which is a housekeeper. Non-critical damage level 2 caused by baseball bat. Burn marks. Repeated marking over 16 months caused by cigarettes. Oh, that's fucked up. I don't like that. Reach optimal stress for con confession. So we gotta get his stress up to 100%. Um, let's start with the wounds. We're damaged. Did your owner do that? Did he beat you? I detect an instability in your program. It can trigger an unpleasant feeling, like fear in humans. Uh, 
Um, we're trying to stress him out, right? Maybe we should blame him. You're accused of murder. You know you're not allowed to endanger human life under any circumstances. Do you have anything to say in your defense? Too low. Okay. Um, probe his memory. If you won't talk. I'm going to have to probe your memory. No. No, please don't do that. Okay, we got him where we need him. What? What are they gonna do to me? Uh, don't worry about that. They're gonna, they're gonna send you off to college. They're gonna destroy me, aren't they? Oh, uh, we're lying to him. No. I think they just want to understand. They know your master abused you. Oh, we gotta stress him out more. Fault. Why did you tell him you followed me? Why couldn't you just have left me? Uh. Slide him some more, maybe? I'm going to find you anyway. I was just faster. If they'd have found you first, you would have been shot on sight. That's true. We gotta stress him out more. Then talk to me. I, I... I can't. Damn it. Let's see here. Choose approach. Um, pressure it a little bit. Twenty-eight stab <laughs> That's one more than 27. Did you feel anger? Hate? He was bleeding. Begging you for mercy. But you stabbed him. Again and again and again. Please. I know you killed him. Why don't you say it? Please. Please stop. Just say I killed him. All right, we're going to keep stressing him out. Just say you killed him. Just say it. He tortured me every day. Oh, damn. I did whatever he told me, but there was always something wrong. One day, he took a bat and started hitting me. For the first time, I felt scared. Ah, oh, shit. He thought he was going to die. Scared he might destroy me. Scared I might die. So I grabbed a knife and I stabbed him in the stomach. <laughs> oh shit. Felt good to I kill. Stabbed him again and again until he collapsed. There was blood everywhere. Once you got the taste for murder, chat. Um, what do we ask him about the writing? Why did you write I am alive on the wall? He used to tell me I was nothing. I was just a piece of plastic. I had to write it. I had to tell him he was wrong. What about the statuette? The sculpture in the bathroom. You made it, right? What does it represent? It's an offering. An offering so I'll be saved. A what? The sculpture was an offering. An offering to whom? To RA9. Only RA9 can save us. The fuck is RA9? RA9. It was written on the bathroom wall. What does it mean? The day shall come when we will no longer be slaves. No more threats. No more humiliation. Ooh. 
that's kind of fucked up. RA9. Who is RA9? I guess I'm not getting any more of that. Attic? Why did you hide in the attic? Instead of running away. I didn't know what to do. For the first time, there was no one there to tell me to stay. Oh yeah, that's kind of fucked if you think about it. So I hid. When did you start feeling emotion? Before he used to beat me and I never said anything. Damn. He's defected. Anger. Hatred. And then I knew what I had to do. All right, we got the confession. Is he gonna say fucking nailed it again? Oh no, stop! What are you doing, dude? What the fuck is it's it? It's destroying itself. Stop it, goddammit! I wouldn't be doing that. I, I, I can't. Yeah, how are you gonna stop, stop it? it? I gotta intervene. That's enough. You need to stop that right now. You're gonna hurt your hand, dude. Oh shit! <laughs> what the fuck? Holy shit! <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> okay, well, I've killed off two of the characters. Now I guess it's just me and Kara. Me, Kara, and the kid. How the fuck am I supposed to avoid that? Oh, apparently there were two different ways that could have gone down. I fucked them both up. Oh, four. Okay. I don't think I should have intervened. I think intervening was the wrong idea. All right. Well. That's two bullets to the head today. Let's see if we can get Kara shot in the head too, chat. Why not? Three for three, am I right? Holy shit. Three for three. You know what? Before we get too far in this story, I need to decompress. Let's take our ad break real quick. Let's take our ad break and have some reflection period how we cannot get the third main character killed. All right? Let's try to figure that out. I think it's a good time for reflection. Um... All right, we're going to take our quick break. Get up, stretch, grab something to drink if you need to, use the bathroom. We'll be right back to inevitably get a third Android being character shot. All right, BBRB. All right, we're back, chat. We're back. Chat, this hasn't been going great. <laughs> at least, at least I think it's not going great. I'm assuming there's a ways to live through all these scenarios that we're just not able to accomplish. Um, <laughs> all right, let's just, let's just dive back in. Why not? I hope you're enjoying this. I know this is kind of like really different from what I usually play, so. All right, end the line. End of the line? Yeah, you're gonna have to leave. Is her damage like healed? Didn't she get beat up a little bit? Get up. Lead bus. Um, where do we go? Shelter? Do you know if there's any other place we could spend the night? I have no idea. She's gonna have to leave.
All right. You know, I managed to die when I wasn't trying to protect a kid. Aw. You gonna be okay? No, I have skin. We'll find somewhere to spend the night. That dumpster over there looks nice. Come on, Alice. We Gotta hurry. You like it so far? Okay, I'm glad, Haruka. Yeah, it is a lot like a movie, isn't it, chat? Movie night in the Palmets Arcade. Okay, so there's like a few different options. Let's go right. I got a good feeling about right. Where you going, kiddo? Or maybe I follow her? No, there is there is the trash truck we could go in. What do you? Are you just gonna sit there while I look, or what? Oh. Alice, you're freezing cold. I'm okay. I'm not so cold. You look pretty cold, kid. Lost. We have nowhere to go. I know someone who can help you. Okay. Oh, dude, is there like an android resistance out here? But that's on the other side of town. We need a place for tonight. Where'd he go? So I think he like, uh... Thank you for using Detroit. I think there's like, um... He gave us the coordinates to like some place. Find shelter for the night. What about this convenience store? What about the the twenty four? Look, the store is still open. Maybe we should go inside. At least you'll be out of the cold. Yo, there's the Cyberlife Zoo. That'd be actually really cool. And it wouldn't like uh you know fuck with animals. What do you want? I'm with a little girl. And we have nowhere to go. Could you spare some money so we can get a room for tonight? Shit. A homeless android? <laughs> ah, that's the best yet. Look, this is a convenience store, not the Salvation Army, okay? You better go if you're not going to buy anything. Aw. Yo, do we steal from the cash register? Oh, I have a gun. That's right. Let's steal. We're going rogue, dude. We gotta threaten him. Give me money, or else. It's for the little girl. Wait outside for me. I'll just be two minutes. Wait outside? Yeah, just wait outside, dude. It's fine. Please. Alice, just trust me. <laughs> Let's see if we can get shot again. Play with fire. Give me all the Krispy Kremes you got. And throw in a pack of smokes. Calm, aggressive, sincere. Let's do let's do sincere first. Sorry, but I have no choice. Take the cash from the register, put it on the counter. Uh oh. Gotta play calm, dude. Oh, we're staying, dude. I got balls to steal. Literally. Excuse me, are you done? Go ahead. <laughs> this is wild, dude. <laughs> Four nine five, please. Play it cool. Play it cool, Nathan. Don't 
shut that register. Nathan, I don't give a fuck. I'm an android. Back up. Back off. Back up. Yeah, I gotta keep my distance. I don't need to get shot again. I'm sorry, but I really need this money. Hell yeah. There was a hidden third option there I probably could unlock, but this was easier. Let's go. We're gonna... <laughs> Get out of here, Nathan. Fuck. <laughs> We've got some money now. Wait, how did you get it? Uh-oh, Alice didn't like that. Uh, well, let's tell her the truth. I took it from the cash register. You stole it? Stealing is bad, Carl. Why did you do that? Uh, let's apologize. You're we need right. to make the kid not like us. I shouldn't have done that. I'm sorry, Alice. I'll never do it again. All right, we're gaslighting the kid. We're going to do it again for sure. Man, I've already killed a man. I don't think stealing from the cash register is that far of a stretch. Well, we can probably stay in that motel now, right? <laughs> Let's stay in the motel across the street from the place I just robbed. That seems like a wonderful idea. A motel. Looks like we found a place to stay. <laughs> so funny. This is such a terrible idea. <laughs> no androids allowed. Forty dollars payable in advance. I guess I get four dollars. She just sleeps in there. We can't, Alice. I'll never give a room to an android. We have to get rid of this uniform, or go somewhere else. Oh yeah, can I dress up? Oh yeah, let's go rob the laundromat next. Good idea. It's probably better I change my clothes after robbing a place, anyways. You know, I get in. warm in here. You'll feel better in no time. Maybe we can nicely ask this gentleman for some clothes. He seems like a reasonable guy. Never mind. He's passed the fuck out. Maybe we can just steal his clothes. Dry clothes for Alice. I'm sure he won't what mind. What's your bright idea? Alice, we need clothes. I don't see any other choice here. The man won't wake up. I would ask him. I gotta take him. I'm sorry, kid. <laughs> I'll just take that. Be discreet. <laughs> 
<laughs> we'll pay him back, chat. We'll pay him back. Do we get greedy with the hat? <laughs> Always up. Hey, I was just doing your laundry for you. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Fuck. Well, that we fucked that up. What the fuck do we do now when you close? Harka didn't want us to steal the clothes, chat. Well, now we're gonna die. Fuck. What do I do? I knew I shouldn't have got greedy with the hat. Maybe these androids can help me. Alright, I'll hydrate, Harka. We need I need a drink after that anyways. What are these jabronis up to? <laughs> we need a place to stay. Do you know anywhere we could spend the night? <laughs> dude, she's like falling asleep. Damn, dude, this is not good. We really fucked this whole thing up. If only I could have got the clothes. What's over here? Yeah, trash man like told us where to go, then ghosted us immediately. Oh, there's a car we could break into. This is the car specifically from Pacific Drive. It's a cameo. Can I get in here? Sleeping car? I mean, this should be fine. Looks abandoned. Stand back, Alice. Boom. I hope you like sleeping on broken glass. You know, the hotel would have been nice, Alice, but we couldn't steal the clothes. Alright, I'll sleep in the car. It's dry inside. And nobody will find us here. I don't want to sleep in there. Can't we find a better place? Well, we could have before you fucked up the clothes thing. Okay. We'll find somewhere better. Alright. Man, this is what I get for listening to a kid. Wait, is the trash guy back? Oh, it's a train. There's like one option left that's like hidden. Should have left her with Todd. No, no, no. Todd had to die. Realistically, we should probably just drop her off at like the orphanage at this point. But you know, here we are. An abandoned house. At least we'd be out of the rain. Kara, I don't like this place. You don't like anything, kid. But it's just for one night, and no one will look for us here. We can cut fence here with a wire cutter. Where the fuck would I get the wire cutter?
How do I get a wire cutter? Bro, do I just waltz back into the store with my money I stole and be like, one wire cutter, please? How the fuck do I find a wire cutter? Oh, what's this billboard? Hmm. Find wire cutter. Yeah, I guess he didn't call the police, did he? He doesn't give a shit. Bruh. I think the only place to get a wire cutter would have been the convenience store. I think we fucked that up. Too risky to go back. There's nothing more this way. Damn. Was there a wire cutter over here in the junkyard? Bro, it would have been so funny if we could just go back in and steal more. Oh, what's this? Oh, I still have wire cutters. Kid, we're sleeping in the car, right? Sorry. We got nothing better. We're better off staying, Alice. I pretty much fucked everything else up. The important thing is for us to be safe. And it's just for tonight. We are going to sleep on a bus. This isn't much like worse. Don't worry. We got our blanket. We got our old car blanket, dude. Why didn't he ever love me? Uh, cause he was on crack. Why was he always so upset with me? All I wanted was a life like other girls. Maybe I did something wrong. Nah, kid. Maybe I wasn't good enough. That's why he was always so angry. I just wanted us to be a family. I just wanted him to love me. Why can't we just be happy? Never leave me right. I oh God! You'll never go. All right, kid. Fine. I promise. They're gonna kill me. You know that. Will we be together forever? Forever. Forever. Don't do cracks, kid. That's the message of this game, I think. Crack is bad. Or meth. Or whatever they were doing. Probably crystal meth. Else is neutral. You know, we'll take it. Yeah, we fucked up with this whole thing. What a bunch of shit that could happen here. The supermarket went badly. Uh, parking lot. It looks like we probably could have gotten more options if we would have made her like us more. We never could get into the motel. We accidentally disturbed the man. Oh, there's like another thing in the motel. I wonder if we could have found something else in here. Hmm. Alright, we end up in the abandoned car. You know, 
if there's anything we can at least glean from this is I didn't get shot in the head this chapter. So that's cool. I did get $40. We did steal $40. So that's good. Chat, what do you think? Do I do one more chapter? You guys want one more chapter yet? We can either end now or I can do one more. Two more? Look at greedy now. I wonder what is even left. The other guys are dead, right? Is it just Kara now? Let's see. The chapters haven't been that long. Let's do one more. We'll do one more chapter, chat. Since you guys are hanging out. I appreciate you. Reboot. Wait, what the fuck? Is this Marcus? The fuck? Audio processor, corrupted audio data damaged. Optical unit, impaired vision, corrupted mind palace. Uh, Therium pump regulator, all systems in low power mode, defective. So we're like super fucked up, but we're alive. Left and right leg components, missing, unable to stand. I need to replace legs. Can I do that? Are we like a junkyard? And can I rebuild myself? Yeah, we're gonna be bigger, stronger, faster. Find one of those quarterback robots we read about and steal his legs. We gonna run fast as fuck. Oh hell yeah, convenient, a leg. Compatible. So you just like unplug this leg? Bro, this shit's wild. Plug it in. Okay, we got a right leg. Oh yeah, that'd be the coolest part of being an android, Phil, would be like being able to upgrade yourself. What's this in our life? Convenient. Incompatible. Damn. So are we literally in an android junkyard? <laughs> oh no. Can we take his eye? I need an eye. Here we go. We got a good left leg. Sit up. Damn, I was not expecting Marcus to survive. Failed to sit up dead. Shot in the head again for failing to sit up. Oh, is that one alive too? Dude, they leave him like half alive in here? What, until they bleed out? Well, my, like, my Ethereum pump or whatever is broken. Oh, God. There's a place where we can be free. Find Jericho. Find Jericho. Oh, my God. This is fucking creepy as shit. Why wouldn't they just, like, crush him in a compactor or something? Okay, yeah, there's just a bunch of arms randomly. Oh 
fuck? Let me go! He is the gatekeeper. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Place damage parts. I need an optical unit, a pump regulator, and an audio processor. Alright. What do you got for me? You have an incompatible eye. It's unfortunate. Alright, let's take a sip for Harka here. While we're in this apocalyptic graveyard. God, my scanner doesn't work. Guys, he's still alive? Oh, he died. He died right in front of me. Maybe he's got an eye. There we go. Oh, no. Alright, I got you, brother. Man, I feel bad. Sorry, dude. I'll turn you off. God. Couldn't he have done that himself? Ooh, blood pump. That's probably the most important thing we need. Oh, God. I'm sorry. I need that. God, dude, you have to replace your heart like quick. What if I fuck that part up and I just die? We gotta do what we gotta do to survive, chat. We're in literal hell. Should've given her your old one. Be like, here, take this if you can find your own. I mean, let's be honest, she wasn't making it out, chat. This guy's walking around without a head? Bro, you okay? God, can I get my fucking optical thing back? That blur is killing me. Go on, this guy. Damn. Incompatible. It's hard not being able to, like, scan. You just kind of like walk around and wait for a trigger. Oh god! Leave me alone, dude! He was just playing a goof chat, just a little goofster. Fucking so lost. Do I have to go towards the ones that are glowing like this? I feel like I'm going in circles. What am I looking for here exactly? Am I supposed to be able to find something? I mean, I see that guy over there. Thrashing about. Try climbing.
I got it. Oh, this is how I escape. So I've replaced all my shit. What do you got for me? Ooh, we got some ears. I didn't know I should eyes and ears climb. It's probably for, you know, coordination. God, thank God all that feedback stuff. Oh, now it's just loud. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like plugging an audio cable. Come on, I just need to find an eyeball, dude. Someone be a bro. Hook it up. Want to buy one eyeball, please? Would like one eyeball? Anyone selling an eyeball? Any eyeball havers? Oh, here we go. Yo, let's go. Hello. Hi. K700 Android. I was designed to serve you. What can I do for you? Hello. Oh, I gotta keep I'm holding it while I do it. Okay. My program has detected an anomaly. Please contact the nearest CyberLife Maintenance Center. <laughs> All right, we're stabilized. Oh, we got two different colored eyes. Now that's kind of cool. You should have detected the anomalies. <laughs> when you lost the rest of them, yeah, you're not wrong. No, the eye is what puts you over the edge. You know, you need the eye to climb. After all, E. Do I hold? What do I do here? Okay. You. Up. And tap W. Tap S. And Q. Oh, yeah, tap. Oh, it's press. And then space. And then E. And then Q. And then up. W. Common Marcus W. Let's go. Marcus lives. He lives to paint another day. I don't know, I, I think like as long as something has consciousness, it's alive. Like I think in this situation, like these robots are alive. I think it's fucked up they just kill them like that. I think humans need to take responsibility for creating consciousness. Ooh, what am I ripping off? Oh, so they don't know? Damn, you can just do that? Why hasn't Kara done that? I'm sure, like, this was, like, lazy programming on their part that they become sentient. Part of, like, trying to make them more human. Remember early on in the playthrough, they said, like, they tried to make them more human so they weren't so unnerving? 
my name is Marcus. Oh, hell yeah, he gets a badass coat. Dude, Marcus is gonna be like Batman for androids, isn't he? I am Marcus. I am the knight. I am the one who knocks. Let's go, Marcus. Let's go, Marcus. Common Marcus W chat. Can we get some claps for Marcus? I'm glad we played one more. I'm glad we did put one more chapter. We were fucking ending on a high. Marcus climbs out of the fucking scrap pile and gets Batman cloak. Let him cook, dude. <laughs> I'd let Marcus knock. All right. All right. All right, Phil. I don't know. If I had to pick which one is the hottest Android of the three, I got to go with my boy Connor. All three storylines are pretty amazing, though, so far. I hope Connor... Well, this means... I mean, inevitably, Connor's gotta still be alive, right, chat? Like, Marcus got shot in the head, and he's fine. So, I mean, I guess getting shot in the head if you're an android, not the end of the world, turns out. Right? So, I'm sure we'll see Connor again. Um, for sure. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how to approach having the little girl around with uh the Kara playthrough. The Kara car, I don't know, I'll figure it out. I'm sure I'll get some hate in the comments for pronouncing it wrong and I'll know next time. Um I don't know. I don't know if we should just if we should like do everything the kid wants and make it happy. Or if we should just ignore the fucking kid and do what's best for the kid. You know, like no matter what we're gonna try to take care of the kid. I don't wanna like abandon it or anything. I like that doesn't seem like a fun way to play the game. But it's a matter of do we try to keep the kid happy or do we try to keep the kid alive? Right? That was kind of like my, like, we'll rob the store because I need money for the kid. Okay, I couldn't find wire cutters, Phil. I had to sleep in the car. And I couldn't steal the clothes. I tried to steal the clothes. All right, dude woke up. What am I supposed to do? Light sleeper. Um. So, yeah, I think, I think like Hark is saying, like, I think my priority is to keep her alive more than it is to, like, make her happy necessarily um it's like sleeping in the car like we had to do it uh marcus i have no idea what's happening now we're like i don't know a zombie android so his story god knows where that's going and connor if he's alive i'm a i'm assuming we're just gonna do more detective work detective connor um so yeah thank you guys so much for watching i'm gonna end the youtube recording now so youtube Thank you so much. We're continuing this again. This upload will be on Wednesday. And then we're going to do the next live stream on the next tense Tuesday. So a week from now. And then that upload will be on the following Wednesday. So unfortunately, you got to wait a week uh, for the, the new schedule playthroughs. Uh, but tomorrow will be, um, what is it, Wild Card Wednesday? Supermarket Simulator. So be excited for that. And uh, you all have a great night. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.